Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to One Away Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus. Right hand is Zeus, and I'm coming with some hot fire news today. Let's just jump into this. MX versus ATV All Out has been announced. For a March 27th release, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And for those of you that pre-order, you get access to the Champions Pass, which gives you gears, parts, vehicles, and special upgrades. It also, with with the with the stuff that's going to be available to you, it's going to be 100K in Moto Coins. Yeah, you heard it. They got their own currency in the game. You also will have 16 player online matches. You also will have a new area to the game where you can practice stunts. This is what I'm talking about. But let me just say this for the record. I hope that this game has great, great gameplay because we are due for one of these fantastic games. Now, let me tell you, I've seen a video over the weekend of Metal Gear Survive. Now, I kept saying, there is no zombies and no goddamn Metal Gear. Where are they going with this? Hideo Kojima, lead a company, Konami starts tripping? But after finish watching this video today, I have noticed that this is like a virtual simulator that they're putting the soldier through. And they give them different objectives in the game. So it's not a real Metal Gear world. It's a soldier in the Metal Gear world. And some goddamn training camp with a VR headset on them. So I might get a pass for this game. It looks pretty fun. Looks pretty dope. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can watch it for yourself. Now, let's get into Dragon Ball Z's fighter PC requirements. Yes. In Dragon Ball Fighter Z, the PC requirements has dropped today. Now, they're saying to get the game to run, PC owners will need a 64-bit OS, Intel i5-3470, or AMD FX 4350, a GTX 650 Ti, or Radeon HD 6680, and 4GB of RAM. However, if you run at the recommended settings, an upgrade to an Intel i7 3770 or AMD Ryzen 5 1400 a GTX 660 or Radeon HD 6870 with 8 gigabit bytes of RAM is needed now I will leave this up here for a little bit so you can just get an idea of what will be going down on January 14th and yes these are the PC required specs. Facts. Now in other news. It is a lot of rumors going around. That saying Fable 4 is being made by Playground Games. Are they working on it? Or are they not working on it? I have no idea. But I heard a little rumblings from the video game community. On some people I know. Saying when they go to E3 this year. They might be. Getting a behind the doors event that might not be shown to the public showing some exclusive game. I'm going to stay on top of this job and hopefully it's one of the big boys on the block. Because Microsoft needs some new exclusives and some first parties. Let's go. I will stay on top of that. Now, let's get into this PUBG update. Yes. Yes. Let's get into this players unknown update that was released today for the xbox one platform first of all the number patch we're up to is 5.27 the size of the patch is 4.46 gigabytes yeah it's the size of the goddamn da game damn near first we're going to get into what they enhanced for the gameplay in terms of acceleration and yes they took care of some frame rate issues also today. But let's get into the first one. Aim acceleration can now be adjusted by the players via in-game option. This is what I'm talking about. Now you can go into the options and change this. This is key because a lot of times when I go and I aim at somebody, they move left to right. 
the aim acceleration is like it starts off slower and then all of a sudden it speeds up now you can adjust how far and how excuse me how fast it speeds up you don't want to be whipping your cursor past your opponent and then getting bodied who wants that now for you people out there who jump in them cars and think y'all tanks they have addressed this in this patch also player weapon damage has now been increased against vehicles and they said they will continue to monitor player feedback and telemetry to further make balance and adjustments as needed in future updates yes now this is another great update in today's 5.27 patch that i am greatly excited about because i'm a first person monster baby you know i lay that smack down facts first person solo matchmaking queue will be available for north america europe and oceanic service baby yes and they said they are getting around to bringing it to the rest of the world as those regions as concurrent allows also they fixed the issue when you come into a room open the door the lighting and the shadows appear too dark and bluish they have fixed it thank you because i used to go damn why it's so dark in here or oh, damn I got to adjust my TV. It's mighty blue. <laughs> also, they also affixed another problem I had. Jumping out of the plane. When you go to aim where you want to be on the map. And it's kind of sluggish. Analog stick acceleration has been added while exiting the plane. And while parachuting. Thank you, Blue Hole. They are definitely staying on top of the game. These are other optimizations. Physics performance enhancements. Yes, that's an excellent addition. Hopping over walls, interacting with different things in the environment, car doors, stuff like that. You get an idea. Now, this is important. Server frames per second slightly increased. Client for uh, frames per second slightly increased. Excellent, excellent addition. And we need the better frame rate. A lot of people like, damn, the frames be dropping. Now let's get this rubber banding out the way. Yes. And some VFX receive slight optimization. New to the game, turning the damn music off in the damn menu. I'm going to leave it on because I just think it will look plain. But if you like that, you can turn it off. They also have addressed another, another number known of crashes. Fix the UI issue that occurred when multiplayer is attempted to loot from the same source. Never had that happen to me. But it's good to see Blue Hole is hitting the Xbox platform with multiple fixes for this game. The more patches we get, the better it will be optimized to play. Like I always tell people, when this game came out on PC, they had a multitude of problems. Same thing on Xbox, but they seem to be ironing them out, ironing them out very quickly. Now let's jump into some other news. Yes. Now you know your boy Lemetheus is always covering tech news. You know the tech head that I am, and I bring it to my community. I've been talking about this HDMI 2.1 that's already built into your Xbox One. Samsung has made a huge announcement at CES this week, and I will be having more coverage on CES, but I had to pull this out the bag. QLEDs 2018 will have VRR. Without HDMI 2.1 having to be into the TV. And you're saying, Lemon, what is that? That's the variable fresh rate. Now, it's to give you no latency between console gaming and your television. And if you have a compatible graphic card, AMD or NVIDIA, you can use the G-Sync and the FreeSync. And if you have an Xbox One, you also take the benefits of this excellent feature. It will kill button lag. Moving forward, HDMI 2.1 will cover this. But right now, Samsung has implemented this feature into 2018, baby. Let's go. You will get dynamic metadata. 
eARC system and also has support for VR, which is great. Now, what you don't get is no 4K and 120 hertz, but people on PCs right now, you can take advantage of that no button in input lag in your gaming. Facts. Heard it here first. Now, as always, I need you to like and subscribe. Share the channel. Let's get involved, baby. Hopefully, you checked out that GRG podcast over there on my boy's K Mega channel. It was very entertaining. That's all the news I have for you today. And I'm out.